Hey guys, Joe here. Um, just to show you what I've been working on, I basically turned one of my computers into a games machine, which I intend on having in my garage just to sit in a corner and um, to be hooked up to a TV. So right now, I've got it in my bedroom. <laughs> um, basically, it's a, this PC here. It's running um, quad-core and an NVIDIA graphics card. So it's, it's pretty old technology. But um, yeah, so here, so basically this is a front end called GameX, and the computer boots up straight into it, and it runs all these systems um, through various emulators and just through applications. So just to start this off, um, I'll show you a bit of MAME. So we'll go all MAME games, and let's just pick a game. A lot of these I have not played, I've never heard of, but... Um, but they're on here, and I'm sure the old people have uh, heard of it. So let's just play this game here, Arabian Magic. Um, I don't think it could be too magical. And uh, all these games can be played with these remotes. So I've got this. I've got two um, game. Uh, sorry, uh, Xbox remotes, and I've got two Logitechs as well. So this is the game here. So we can just put in coins. So I've bound coin to back or select. Um, and yeah, so. Uh, or be Sinbad. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, that that all works. Um, and then just to exit the game, you just hold back, left button and right button, and, and click that, and it'll take you right back to GameX, and that can all be bound in its settings. Um, so that's MAME. Uh, let's see something else. We've got... <clears throat> I've also got Atari 2600, which is um, a good one for the oldies, so we'll put on Galaxian. So, that's Galaxian there. Um, so you can just play like that. It's a bit hard to play this with one hand, having to hold this phone as a camera in the other. But, um, so yeah, as you can see, that works. And then same thing, the three buttons you get out. Um, now, I'm not running this through the shell, uh, which is instant sheller, which runs it straight. Like, you turn the computer on, it'll turn this on straight away. So you will see the mouse occasionally, but when that is on, um, there will be no mouse at all. You will not see it. So, yeah, let's just play Asteroids here. On, on That's the Atari 7800. And as you can see, that works as well. We'll get back as again. <clears throat> and then you've got the NES. So the systems now, you know, move on to the other consoles. Um, yeah, let's play Adventures in Magic, in the Magic Kingdom and stuff. Um, so that's it there. That should be full screen. I'm not sure why it isn't, but I'll fix that. So yeah, that works. Um, so now we'll go on to the next system, which is the Super Nintendo. So the SNES. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I played this a lot. Arrow the Acrobat. And my arm is starting to hurt holding up this camera. But there's the game there. It's Arrow the Acrobat. We'll get out of that one. And next we will play the next system. And that's Nintendo 64. So we'll get into that. And let's play... I don't know, one of everyone's favourites, I suppose. Let's go down to Mario Kart. So, Mario Kart 64 there, and as you can see, it has the screenshots and whatnot on the side for some of the games. You can also set it up to play videos, but that's just something I haven't really bothered with. I think it's just a bit too far. And bang, Mario Kart. So that, this all works flawlessly as well, so we'll get out of that. 
just to keep things moving. <clears throat> and let's move on to the next system, which I believe is GameCube, yep. Yeah. Alright, so GameCube, what can we play? Digimon Rumble Arena. So, there you go, a bit of Digimon. Okay. And that game's basically Super Smash Brothers with Digimon versions, so... It's a lot of fun, though. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go back. What's next? Game Boy. So this is this includes Game Boy, Game Boy Color. So let's just play whatever. Air Force Delta or something. So, there you go. And it is literally Game Boy, like, stretched, everything. Controls work, it's just perfect. Skip ahead, you know, whatever. That works. So, once again, that mouse wouldn't normally be there. So, we'll go on to the next thing, um, which is Game Boy Advance. So, here we've got a whole stack of games. Um, what can we play? Donkey Kong Country 2, why not? So that works. Let's go on to the next thing. Uh, Sega Genesis, or just I've put a whole bunch of Sega games under this one thing. I don't know if they're Genesis or not, but I never um, really had much time to play around with a Sega, unfortunately. But yeah, it loads straight into it. Um, playing another Hero the Acrobat. I didn't mean that, but anyway, there you go. So that's another game. And once again, they can all be played with the same remotes. And as you can see here, I have four. So one, two, three, four four remotes and all the keys you have to go through the um, the various emulators and bind them but they all work uh, now onto PlayStation so let's put on Crash Bandicoot you'll see some of these don't have pictures um, but yeah that can all be changed so there you go Crash Bandicoot Move on to the next thing, which would be PS2, I believe, yeah, there we go, PS2. Let's put on Tekken 4, one of my favourites. Do, do, do. We'll swap arm, that arm's getting a bit tired holding that up. There you go, so, Tekken. So I've gone through and unlocked every character. Just for fun. Did it in about an hour, I think. So yeah, that's Tekken. And that's PS2 running flawlessly. So there you can see the emulator as well. Um, so I'll move on to something else. So I've also put in PC games, which isn't something that I had in... Up until today, actually. But you can set up any game through this it is unbelievable so just to show you some super street fighter 4 and all these games run perfectly like there is not an inch of lag it is just brilliant. So, I'm just getting the game just to show you just how good this is. So, we'll go as everyone's favourite, or my personal favourite. Um, oh, 
Wii Honda, eh? So, just going to play with one hand here. It's not really going to get me far, but as you can see, it runs perfectly. And then, once again, just the exit. The three buttons and, and bang, you're out. Um, the, all these games save as well. They all save. Um, and yeah, you can also set... Um... You can also set Game Up, GameX up to have uh, like a, a, a YouTube app. Um, you can even have it play video, audio, everything. And you can just shut it off through here as well. So you'll see that the PC will actually just shut down. Um, and these are some screens that I'm hoping to have for, for the boot up. These are things I need to change. But all that is, is doable. So it's not very hard. It does take a bit of time to get everything that you want and to update your, your kind of your catalog and and whatnot, but um, yeah, it's pretty good.